a partner molo with uh, Omni Track. We have a partner molo with uh, Magala XM. And it was also the same. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Downtime with Demille. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching this video. So this video is going to be about a trip that I took just last week to San Francisco, California to attend the annual Game Developers Conference. And I had a great time there. And so what I'm gonna do with this video is really take you along the journey with me to San Francisco so you guys can see what the Game Developers Conference is like, what the whole experience is like. Maybe you've heard of GDC before and just didn't know if it was for you or what it was about. So I'm gonna try to go into as much detail as I can with this video and just show you guys why you should go and the benefits of going. So if this is your first time watching this channel, and if you like the content that I produce, don't forget to hit that like button. Likes really help this channel out in a big way. Also, if you really like the content that I produce, consider hitting that subscribe, hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video goes live up on this channel. So before I take you to San Francisco with me virtually, the one thing I do wanna let you guys know is that I'm an animator, and I specifically like character animation in 3D that is full body animation for games. So you can see some of the work that I've done here some of the things that I'm proud of. I post lots of this kind of stuff on my Instagram, which I wanna leave a link right down here, which is my Instagram is at Demille underscore studios. I post about my animation journey, different milestones that I've reached. I post my work there sometimes. So if you're into animation, whether it be for film or for games, or if you just like art in general, feel free to follow me. I think you'll find something that you'll find really cool there. So we're about to head to San Francisco and I'm just gonna take you guys on a journey with me to show you what it's like when you're landing in San Francisco, heading to GDC, getting your badge, seeing what the expo floor is like, and then I'm gonna come back with just some stuff you need to know about going to the Game Developers Conference. So without further ado, let's head to San Francisco, California right now. After a very long and bumpy, turbulent flight, I finally made it to San Francisco, California. So I'm getting ready to catch an Uber and go to the hotel and then go and pick up my GDC badge. Man, I got a headache. That turbulence was crazy. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is what is GDC and what is it for? Who is it for? The Game Developers Conference is an annual event that's held in San Francisco, California, generally in the month of March. 
And so this conference really is geared for people who are into games and specifically people who just love games. Maybe you want to get a job in games. Maybe you're already in games and you want to network with people who are your peers that are in games. This conference is for you. Or if you like rigging in games or animation, if you like character design, if you're a texture artist, if you like animation like me, that's where I come in. If you like cloth simulation, hair simulation for games or environment setup, this conference is definitely for you because they have lots of people with those same disciplines and other disciplines that are attending the conference, people that you can network with, learn more about, and a lot of studios offer jobs in those disciplines that are at the actual conference. So it's a really good conference to go to and really just be around all of that. And so one of the things that you have to do when you go to the Game Developers Conference is you have to register. And I had the Game Developers Conference Expo Pass, which is really one of the less expensive badges that you can have going into the conference. That badge that I paid was around $295. After a certain date before the conference, it goes up to $366. So you really wanna take advantage of that price early before it goes up a little bit higher. Now, as I said before, the Expo Pass is the lower level pass that gets you into the Expo floor and also into some of the lower level talks held by studios, but they do have higher level passes that of course cost more money. So it really is just up to you in terms of what your budget is like and how much of the experience you wanna get, determining how far or how much you wanna go into the talks that they have available for the Expo Pass and just how much really you're willing to spend for it. So it's a good idea to just kind of know what you're looking to try to get out of the conference before you get your pass. One thing too that you need to know about the Expo Pass is that unlike some of the other passes, the Expo Pass only covers certain days of the events. So for example, my Expo Pass will only cover Wednesday through Friday. So if you're going to San Francisco and you're getting an Expo Pass, you want to make sure that if you're trying to get into the GDC, the Game Developers Conference, you want to make sure that you're planning your trip around the availability of when your Expo Pass is because you don't want to get there on Monday and expect to go to the conference, but your Expo Pass says Wednesday through Friday. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what you can see on the expo floor and stuff you should do. So on the expo floor, this is where you see a lot of booths from well-known studios, from smaller studios, from independent studios, from international studios. It's just a mixed bag of everything. You'll see companies that you recognize like Meta, Unreal, Unity, Sometimes you'll see studios such as Iron Galaxy, Virtuos. It really just depends on where you are on the floor, but chances are you're gonna see a lot of studios there that you recognize. And one of the cool things about these studios is that you can actually just walk up to them and talk with the staff that's there. A lot of times in these booths, they have recruiters there that are willing to talk to you about job openings and things like that. So if you're going there looking to try to find out more about what jobs are available, the good thing is those recruiters are on hand to talk with you about that. So you'll be good to go when you do that. As far as the expo floor itself, you're gonna find a mix of a lot of different studios there. They have an entire international section on the expo floor dedicated just for international exhibitors people from Belgium, people from Spain, people from France. It, you know, they're all just there showing their games from their studios from across the world from where they are. And then of course, there's studios that are here in the US that will be there. There's studios from Canada that are there. And you just get a chance to really get a feel for all of the studios that are representing on the expo floor. It's a lot of energy, it's a lot of fun you see a lot of stuff going on there. They have game testing on the expo floor. So if you wanted to see a game that's in development and it's not quite done yet, you can actually test those games out, 
and you know and i actually did that i had a great time playing this one game that was really cool and it's just really awesome that they offer things like that for gamers and it's just so much stuff to see there's an indie section where they have independent game studios there anything that involves a studio with a game that they're developing typically they will be on the expo floor and they'll have representatives there to represent their studio so if you go there just know that it's going to seem a little overwhelming at first because there's so much stuff to see but if you go in with a game plan knowing which studios you want to talk to ahead of time that helps out a whole lot which is going to lead me into my next point that i want to talk about is how to meet with studios and recruiters so the one thing that you want to keep in mind is that while there are a lot of studios and booths at the expo floor at the game developers conference a lot of those will allow you to walk up and talk to them however there are some where you do have to actually register on their website to schedule like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them and so i was able to snag probably about four or five of those ahead of time which is great but a lot of times you know if you don't have that confirmation from the studio um, that you're wanting to meet with you're not going to be able to meet with them so i would highly encourage you if you know that you're going to the game developers conference try to go to a studio's website or follow them on linkedin or social media because they'll likely have something on their website that will show you how to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one meeting if you're attending the game developers conference and it works really well because you get the confirmation and email. They, they uh, basically ask you what date works best for you to meet. And once you do that, you're able to meet with them and really just talk about what roles they have available that fits best with your skill set. So definitely something to just remember when you're going to GDC, if you're going there with the intent on, um, you know, looking for a job and really just seeing exactly what they have available. And I think that's probably the biggest things that you need to know as far as going to the Game Developers Conference. Just plan ahead, knowing what you want to accomplish when you get there. Know that it is overwhelming at times, and that's the reason why I say plan. Plan ahead of time, know what you wanna see, because you're gonna be so distracted with this different things. There's so many different demos, there's talks that go on from studios, and what's cool, one thing that I will mention about the expo floor um, is that they're starting to have more talks on the expo floor now, whereas it used to be where all of the talks were just literally, you know, in these auditoriums and different buildings around the GDC. Now they're starting to have some of those talks actually on the expo floor, which is actually really cool. So the expo pass is starting to actually in my opinion, have a little more value than it has had in the past. So I would definitely recommend anybody who is into games, animation, art, any kind of discipline that's involved in the development of a video game in the pipeline, I think you should definitely check it out. What I really love about going to the Game Developers Conference is not only does it give me a chance to go to San Francisco, which is a city that I really enjoy, but it also gives you the chance to network with other people who are in the industry. Sometimes if you're on LinkedIn and you see people that you've been interacting with, you get a chance to meet them for the first time. And it's just a really, really cool experience, especially when you get a chance to meet recruiters at some of your favorite game studios that maybe you've either wanted to work for or maybe you've worked for in the past and you wanna just see someone there and say hello. Typically they're there and it's just such an awesome experience to be a part of. So that's pretty much my GDC Game Developers Conference experience, taking you guys with me to San Francisco, California. So what did you guys think about this? Post your comments down below. Let's have a conversation about it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. On the way out, hit that like if you like this video, share this video, and as I always say, if you can see this, you are truly, truly blessed. Believe that, especially in this day and age. And also, what are you going to do in your downtime? Peace! Subscribe! And as well, 
and also what are and post your comments down in the comment yeah, if I can, let me get that out that's the edit part I'll have to do so definitely just some things to keep in mind and So I'll just go ahead and go to the next one. I think I can probably cut that off. So just some things to keep in mind when you're getting your pass, know the dates available and you'll be good to go.